Now we're off to KwaZulu Natal, uh, which has to spend 100 billion rand over the next 10 years if it wants to replace its aging water infrastructure. This is according to its provincial water master plan, which includes the building of new dams to meet the demand by residents of its 54 municipalities. Now we have ENCA's reporter Letiwe Mdluli, who is in Eteguini, uh, speaking to residents on their experiences of living without water for days on end, and also to officials on why fixing the system seems to be such an insurmountable task. Good morning to you, Letiwe. Thanks so much for joining us. We know that you are in the freezing cold as the rest of the country is also experiencing, but nonetheless, uh, the, the news uh, continues. What is your experience or what residents have been saying with regards to uh, the water supply in the area? Well, good morning, Cindy. This morning we are in Overport and speaking about the damaged infrastructure, I just want to show you the results of um, what is happening when the municipality doesn't fix the infrastructure. What you're seeing right now on your screens is sewage that is coming from a, a road that is up top here in Overport. And unfortunately, the sewage that you're seeing on your screens is heading into the Umgeni River and essentially ending up on our oceans. And the residents here in Overport are saying that they've been reporting these issues for years but unfortunately the municipality has failed to address their issues and also to fix some of the pipes and the stormwater um, damages or drainage or drainages that they are um, that are damaged here in Overport but right now I'm joined by Raisa Sheikh I want to bring her in um, she's the spokesperson of the um, Overport Repairs Association I want to bring her in and just ask her about some of the issues that they are faced with Raisa thank you so much for joining us at ENCA Firstly, I want to know about your ongoing water issues. I know that you have water outages a lot here in Overport. Take me through that. Thank you so much, Letiwe. So in Overport, we are deeply concerned about the constant water shedding we've had. And this is poor, this is poor infrastructure. Almost every week, we have burst pipes. And what happens? There's very poor and slow service delivery. So few workers are sent out with equipment that's broken. And what happens is the homes and the businesses and the schools in the area don't have water for days. And this is further compounded by the fact that we don't even get water tankers to the area. So when these um, plumbers, when they fix the water issues, do you know what? Within a few days, we have another leak. So this is an ongoing issue for the past five years. We've been reporting it and it's only gotten worse in the last year. Yeah. And in terms of the pipes, because you've been saying that um, there's a lot of leakages in the area and also there's a lot of storm water that you're seeing. Take me through that as well. So as you would know, Leti, we're here in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, we've been having lots of flooding. So with the heavy rains, what's been happening is our stormwater drainage is not properly maintained. It, throughout the year, it is not maintained. So when we have heavy rains, the water, there's localized flooding, right? There's uh, infrastructure damage, so we get sinkholes property damage so properties and schools are now unsafe for us to enter motorists cannot pass through these areas yeah. but subsequent to that even when the floods and the heavy rains are over this infrastructure has not been repaired yeah. and now what's happening we have another issue which is sewerage which is constantly coming up to the roads yeah. and you'll see the debris on the road and you'll see the water flowing down and this flows into our stormwater drainage yeah. so as you can see with the waterfall behind us if if you didn't know any better if you weren't here and you couldn't get the smell that's here you would think oh that's such a lovely waterfall but this is actually sewage water that's running into the storm water and as residents of the Overport Ratepayers Association we're so concerned about E. coli, waterborne diseases, airborne diseases. Our children are walking through the storm water. Businesses are operating, residents their quality of life is so poor because they have to wake up to the smell and to the sight of sewage every day. Yeah. And in terms of speaking to the municipality, have you engaged them? Have they been here to check out the situation? What is, what is their response? Mm. So sadly, Leti, where we have been engaging with municipality, with Etec Winnie for the past five years, we have records, we have a paper trail, we have councillors who have told us that a budget has been allocated in 2018. But do you know what? Since 2018 to now, they can't account for that budget and there has been no improvement in infrastructure, in managing sanitation mm. and sewage in Overport area. Yeah. What would you say to them? Because, I mean, we're going to be interviewing them a, a, a bit later on. What would you say? What's your message to the municipality and also government as well here in Bozoran Natal? You know, the right to water and sanitation is a basic human right. It's in our constitution. 
As the Oval Port Rape Peers Association, we are willing to work with the authorities. We want to help better the Oval Port residents' quality of life. Please work with us. Come and meet us. We'll show you the areas that need assistance. And we will do whatever it takes, but we need the municipality to come and show us that they're willing to work together. You know, Raisa, when we um, spoke about the, the water outages that you have, you also spoke about not feeling safe. Do you feel as if the water here in Durban is safe enough to drink? Are you drinking your tap water? I must be honest, we are concerned daily. Um, sometimes, you know, we drink tap water, but we're very careful to boil the water before we drink it. So we boil and cool water and store it in our jugs. But sometimes when you have load shedding and you haven't boiled enough water, then that becomes a problem. And sometimes our kids are getting sick, so they have stomach bugs frequently. Schools are being affected, so lots of kids are having these significant gastro bugs. And we don't know if it's coming from the water. It's possible. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, Cindy, these are some of the issues that residents and ratepayers here in Overports are dealing with. It's not just Overports that is experiencing this issue. It's an issue across Durban. And we've been visiting various um, places that are having um, numerous water outages. And a lot of residents are saying that they don't feel safe drinking the tap water because of the sewage that you're seeing. I mean, like I said before, the sewage that you're seeing here, it hence, it's going into our rivers, more specifically Umgeni River, which then goes into our own. Um, and causes E. coli and um, residents are concerned and they are asking for the municipality to get involved. As you were saying, uh, Letty, thank you so much for your interview with uh, Raisa Sheikh. And the, the concern again is that this impacts not only on productivity, people may be falling ill due to the water contamination and not able to go to work. That's absenteeism again. Over and above that, it's impacting on the children as well. So your health care bills are, are, are escalating because of the lack of proper portable drinking water. Any word uh, maybe from the authorities in terms of plans that they may have to, uh, to mitigate the impact of this particular sewer behind you and the long-term plan to just fix it? Well, Cindy, we will be speaking to the Etiquini municipality a bit later on. They have agreed um, to an interview where they will be responding to some of the issues that the residents have raised. But overall, a few months ago, we, we were actually with Action SA, um, and they were taking us around some of the, the places that are dealing with the sewage issue in, 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 in Durban. And they were raising these issues and saying that the municipality should have a budget allocated to fix, to fix these things. And we do know that the Water and Sanitation Department has recently um, passed a budget of over 200 million where they will be trying to fix the, the, the damages and also try to get the, the issue with the sewage um, under control. But we will get more information when we speak to them and find out whether they have a plan to end this. All right, Letiwe, thank you so much indeed for uh, that report. That is ENCA reporter Letiwe Mdluli out in Etigwini speaking to residents on their uh, frustrations with the lack of quality drinking water in the area and around the province. She'll be speaking to authorities a little bit later as well.